Have you recently gone through a heartbreak and are finding it hard to move on? Heartbreak, it's an emotional tornado, isn't it? You're tossed around by feelings of loss, sadness, and confusion, not knowing when you'll land or where you'll end up. It's a whirlwind that can leave you feeling empty and alone. But let me assure you, you're not alone in this, not by a long shot. Heartbreak is a universal experience. It's like a rite of passage on the journey of life. We've all been there, grappling with the emotional pain that seems to seep into every corner of our lives. It's as if our hearts have been shattered into a million pieces, and we're left trying to pick them up piece by piece, unsure of how to put them back together. It's a pain that's palpable, a pain that's real. It's common to feel a sense of loss, to mourn the relationship that was and the future that could have been. It's normal to experience a myriad of emotions from sadness and anger to betrayal and disbelief. It's okay to cry, to scream, to let it all out. It's okay to feel, it's okay to hurt. But remember, heartbreak is not just about the pain. It's also about growth, about learning and about moving forward. It's about acknowledging your feelings, understanding them and then letting them go. It's about picking yourself up, dusting yourself off and taking that first step towards healing. So if you're feeling lost, hurt, and confused, know this, it's okay. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel. It's okay to take your time. Because heartbreak, while painful, is also a catalyst for change, for growth, for becoming stronger, and for learning to love yourself more. And remember, you are not alone. You are not the only one who has felt this way, and you certainly won't be the last. You are part of a community, a community of heartbroken souls, who are navigating their way through the storm just like you. Remember, it's okay to feel hurt and it's okay to take time to heal. Do you know the warning signs of a relationship that's not serving you? It's time to delve into the world of red flags, those telltale signs that something in your relationship may be off kilter. Let's start with respect. It's the bedrock of any healthy relationship. If you're not feeling respected, if your opinions or feelings are constantly dismissed or belittled, that's a red flag waving right in your face. You deserve to be heard, to be valued for who you are, not just for what someone else wants you to be. Then there's criticism. Constructive criticism is one thing, but when every little thing you do is met with negativity, that's a red flag. It's like living under a dark cloud that just won't lift. Relationships should lift you up, not bring you down. Next up, controlling behavior. This can sneak up on you disguised as concern or even love. But when someone starts dictating who you can see, what you can wear, or how you should behave, that's a red flag. It's your life, not someone else's. Finally, there's lack of communication. If your partner avoids talking about issues or dismisses your concerns, that's a red flag. Communication is key in a relationship. It's how we understand each other, how we grow together. If conversations are constantly being shut down, that's a problem. But remember this, trust your gut. Your instincts are there for a reason. If something feels off, it probably is. Don't dismiss your feelings or doubts. They're your internal alarm system, your built-in red flag detector. Knowing these red flags can help you avoid future heartbreak, but more importantly, it can help you realize your worth. Because you're worth more than a relationship that doesn't make you happy, that doesn't respect you, that doesn't communicate with you. You deserve someone who treats you with kindness, with respect, with love. So keep your eyes open, trust your gut, and never settle for less than you deserve. Knowing these red flags can help you avoid future heartbreak. But what does a healthy relationship look like, you may wonder? Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the heart of what makes a relationship truly healthy and fulfilling. First and foremost, a healthy relationship is built on a foundation of mutual respect. This means recognizing each other's individuality, and appreciating the differences that make each of you unique. It's about celebrating each other's victories, empathizing with each other's struggles, and never belittling each other's feelings. Next up is honesty. Honesty is the cornerstone of trust, and trust is absolutely vital in a healthy relationship. This means being open and truthful even when the truth might be difficult to share. It's about having the courage to be vulnerable and the integrity to respect that vulnerability in return. A significant part of honesty is good communication. In a healthy relationship, you feel comfortable expressing your thoughts, feelings, and concerns. You listen to each other with an open mind and heart, seeking to understand before being understood. In such a relationship, your voice is not just heard, but valued. Emotional support is another crucial element. Life is a roller coaster of ups and downs, and in a healthy relationship, 
You're there for each other through thick and thin. You're each other's cheerleaders, comforters, and sounding boards. You share in each other's joy, and when the storm clouds gather, you stand together, offering strength and solace. Lastly, but equally important, is the concept of balance and equality. A healthy relationship is a partnership where decisions and responsibilities are shared. One person doesn't carry the weight of the relationship on their shoulders. Instead, you work together, leaning on each other's strengths and compensating for each other's weaknesses. Remember, a healthy relationship isn't about being perfect. It's about being perfectly imperfect together. It's about growing together, learning from each other, and continually striving to be better, both as individuals and as a couple. In conclusion, a healthy relationship is one that enhances your life, adds to your joy, and inspires you to be the best version of yourself. A healthy relationship uplifts you. It doesn't bring you down. Have you ever felt like you're settling for less in a relationship? Like you're not quite getting what you hoped for, yet you're sticking around out of fear. Fear of being alone, fear of starting over, or fear of admitting that it just isn't right? It's a situation many of us find ourselves in, yet it's one we should strive to avoid. The first step to avoiding this is recognizing your worth. You are unique, special, and deserving of love. The kind of love that makes you feel cherished, respected, and secure. Your happiness matters, and it should never be compromised for the sake of maintaining a relationship that doesn't fulfill you. The dangers of settling for less than you deserve are many. Over time, it can erode your self-esteem, leaving you feeling inadequate and unloved. It can also lead to resentment, as you may start blaming your partner for your unhappiness, even though it's your choice to stay in a situation that doesn't serve you. It's important to remember that love isn't about finding someone to complete you, but rather someone to complement you. You are already a whole complete individual and you deserve a partner who recognizes and values that. So how do you avoid settling? By setting boundaries for what you will and won't accept in a relationship, by understanding your needs and wants and not being afraid to voice them, by refusing to stay in a relationship that doesn't meet your standards, no matter how scary the prospect of leaving may be. Leaving may be hard, but settling for less is harder. It's a long-term sentence of dissatisfaction and unfulfillment, so make the choice to honor yourself and your needs, to strive for the love and respect you deserve, to refuse to settle for anything less than extraordinary love. Remember, you deserve someone who truly values you. Who are the people in your corner cheering you on? Think about it. Are they the ones who lift you up when you're feeling low? Are they the ones who celebrate your victories no matter how small? These are the people you want to surround yourself with. Let's dive a bit deeper into this. You see, we humans are social creatures. We thrive on interaction, on connection. It's in our DNA. And the people we choose to spend our time with, they have a massive impact on how we see ourselves and the world around us. Imagine you're a sponge soaking up water. Now, if you're surrounded by negativity, guess what you're soaking up? That's right, negativity. But if you're surrounded by positivity, by love, by encouragement, you'll soak up those things instead. So, let's talk about your support network, your friends, your family, your cheerleaders. These are the people who wanna see you succeed, who want to see you happy. They're the ones who will be there to pick you up when you stumble, to offer a shoulder when you need to cry, and to cheer the loudest when you triumph. But remember, it's not just about having these people in your life, it's about spending quality time with them. Engage with them, listen to them, share your dreams and fears, let them in. Because when you open yourself up to positivity, you open yourself up to happiness. And what about the naysayers, the negative Nellies, the energy vampires? Well, it might be time to reassess those relationships. It's not about cutting people out of your life, but rather about setting boundaries. Protect your peace, your energy, your heart. You deserve to be surrounded by people who uplift you, not bring you down. So take a step back, look at your social circle. Does it need a positivity boost? If so, start making changes. Reach out to that old friend who always makes you laugh. Spend more time with that family member who believes in you. Join a group or club that aligns with your passions. Surround yourself with positivity and you'll start to feel positive too. You're not alone in this journey. You have a team, a community, a tribe, and together you can conquer anything. What are the things that make you happy and fulfilled? Now that's a question that warrants a moment of reflection. Hobbies and interests, they're more than just ways to pass the time. 
They're an integral part of who you are, and they play a crucial role in your journey to healing and self-growth. Think about it. What are the activities that make your heart race with excitement, that spark a twinkle in your eye, or that simply bring you peace? It could be anything from painting, writing, hiking, or even something as simple as arranging flowers or reading a good book. These are the things that can help you reconnect with your inner self and find joy in solitude. Having hobbies and interests outside of a relationship, you see, is incredibly important. When you're engrossed in something you truly love, you're not just killing time. Rather, you're living in the moment, you're growing, and you're learning new things about yourself. You're discovering what you're capable of, and that's a powerful feeling. You might find that your passions lead you to new friendships, to new adventures, and to a sense of purpose. They can open doors to worlds you never knew existed and inspire you to push your boundaries. So why not take the plunge? Why not try that painting class you've always been interested in, or learn that musical instrument you've always wanted to play? Heartbreak is tough, no doubt about it, but the process of moving on and healing is also an opportunity to rediscover yourself to redefine your boundaries and to rekindle your passions. It's a chance to fall in love with yourself and your life all over again. So go out there and explore. Take a step towards your passions. Start a new hobby or rekindle an old one. Find joy in your interests. Remember, they're not just hobbies. They're a part of your identity, a part of your journey, and a part of your healing. Your hobbies and interests are a part of who you are. Embrace them. Are you ready to create the life of your dreams after a breakup? Well, buckle up because we're about to embark on the ultimate glow up journey. The glow up isn't just about looking great, though that's certainly part of it. It's about feeling great inside and out. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, not for your ex, not for your next, but for you and you alone. Now imagine a butterfly. Before its stunning transformation, it was just a humble caterpillar. It had to endure the darkness of the cocoon before it could spread its wings and fly. That's the essence of the glow up. It's a transformative process, a journey that takes you from where you are to where you want to be. It's about self-improvement, self-love, and self-discovery. It's about learning new things, trying new experiences, and meeting new people. It's about setting goals and smashing them. It's about becoming so happy and content with your life that you radiate positivity and attract the same. Remember, the glow up isn't a destination. It's a journey, and it's your journey. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's all about what makes you feel good, what makes you happy. Maybe it's taking up a new hobby or traveling to a new place or learning a new skill. Maybe it's as simple as waking up each day and choosing to be happy. And yes, there might be stumbling blocks along the way. There might be days when you feel like giving up, but remember even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. So keep going, keep growing, keep glowing. Remember, you are a masterpiece and a work in progress all at once. You're not defined by your past, but by your present and your future. And your future is bright, so let your light shine. Let your glow up begin. Your breakup doesn't define you. It's just a stepping stone on your journey to the best version of you. Heartbreak is tough, but it's not the end of your story. Remember that. It's a chapter, not the entire book. It's a storm, not the climate. It's a moment, not a lifetime. We've explored the terrain of heartache together, and now it's time to look forward. We've learned to recognize the red flags, those little warning signs that something isn't quite right. Trust your intuition, it's your internal compass. It's okay to say no when something doesn't feel right. You deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. Understanding what a healthy relationship looks like is key. Love isn't about control or possession. It's about mutual respect, trust, and understanding. It's about wanting the best for each other, even when it's hard. Never forget that you deserve this kind of love. And oh, let's not forget the importance of not settling. Settling for less is like buying a pair of shoes that don't fit. Sure, they might look good, but they're gonna hurt like crazy. You're worth more than that. You're worth the wait for something that fits just right. Surrounding yourself with positivity is like planting a garden. The more good vibes you sow, the more happiness you'll reap. Cultivate relationships with people who want the best for you. They're your sunshine on a cloudy day. And what about hobbies and interests? They're your personal flavor, the spice in the soup of life. Dive into them, they'll help you grow, they'll bring you joy, and they'll introduce you to people who share your passions. And finally, the ultimate glow up. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good. It's about standing tall with your head held high, knowing that you've weathered the storm and come out stronger. 
So as we wrap up, remember to take time to heal, learn from your experience, and look forward to the future. It's a big, beautiful world out there, and you've got so much to offer it. Remember, you are strong, you are worthy, and you deserve happiness. Here's to moving forward and never settling for less. If you've made it to the end of this video, you're seriously dedicated to your self-growth journey. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Pretty Girl Whispers YouTube channel for more inspiring content. And be sure to check out my vibrant YouTube community page where I share beautiful photos and fun questions. Your feedback means the world to me. Keep shining, lovelies.